Hi, welcome to, the, to today's daily message. I was thinking about what Andy had said the other day, which was about t seeing things from God's perspective. And I have been encouraged by the words of Terry Waite when he was talking about the, how the words we use affects the way we think. And he said, we should not say, I am stuck at home. We should say, I am safe at home. I am safe at home and have been for several weeks. And I know many of you are. We are very fortunate that we have comfortable homes. We have all the things that we need to keep us occupied. Just take a moment to look around your home and think of the things, not the things, but the opportunities they give you, the people they remind you of, the cause for thanks they give you. Let's just spend a minute, a moment doing that. Then I thought about the word safe. I'm a great one for dictionary definitions, so I looked it up. And it says, safe, sheltered, refuged. That, so that if we are safe in our homes, we are in a place of shelter, we are in a place of refuge. But these are such unusual, different times, we may not feel like that. But how do we know we are safe? Who is keeping us safe? God our Father is there. It doesn't matter whether you're on your own at home, wondering how you're going to cope with your children, or whether you're really on your own, whether you're working from home, God is there for you every moment of the day. And as Mark reminded us, we it's a matter of willing ourselves to acknowledge and accept and live in these promises of God and not to rely on our feelings. So we are safe, we are secure, we are sheltered. I wanted to read you something from Psalm 91. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I love that picture. We are in the shadow, the shelter of the Most High. We rest in the shadow of the Almighty. It brings to mind a picture of a bird who opens the, her wings so her chicks can scuttle inside and be kept safe. Jesus will keep us safe. Not from the problems, we, we are part of the world, but he will keep our hearts and minds safe. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Again, I will say, God is your refuge, God is my refuge. We can trust him, whatever the circumstances are, whatever we are going through. Shall we say, shall we pray together? Lord, we come to you in prayer mindful of your great love for each and every one of us mindful that you are there you are with us in our homes in our workplaces day by day minute by minute i pray we pray that we would always be mindful of the fact that you are there I pray especially for those who today lord are on their own and feel lonely and for those who are not on their own and have too many demands on them help us all to turn to you as our refuge and our strength amen <laughs>